A Dallas police officer shoots and kills a man after mistakenly entering his apartment. Now his family is suing the city, demanding action against that officer. Our Demond Fernandez is live with some new information in this case. Demond. Oh, hey there, Marie. In this federal lawsuit, the lawyers for Botham Jean's family characterized the officer who shot him as a dangerous individual with highly violent and antisocial propensities. And they've laid out a laundry list of allegations against former DPD officer Amber Geiger and the city of Dallas in this federal lawsuit, which they filed on Friday. Now, it's a civil rights claim based on Geiger's actions before, during, and after shooting Jean inside of his own apartment at Southside Flats on South Lamar. Now, they say the 26-year-old man was unarmed and sitting on his sofa when Geiger Geiger entered his home, shot him in the chest with her service weapon. Now, Geiger alleges she thought she was entering her own apartment, saw the door ajar, and thought a burglary was taking place. Now, the court documents detail how Geiger called her attorney and 911 to report the shooting, and lawyers say in an alleged attempt to cover it all up, made certain comments to Jean as he was suffering, knowing she was being recorded. Now, the lawsuit also claims the city of Dallas didn't do enough to make sure Geiger was properly trained in following policies and protocols. We know that this police officer had a history, a long history of issues that were ignored by, by Dallas Police Department. So it's incumbent upon the city of Dallas and the, in particular the, the Dallas Police Department to institute policies that will prevent this kind of thing from happening. This federal lawsuit also alleges Jean's family, who lives in St. Lucia, is dealing with extreme emotional pain, loss of companionship, and financial losses since his death. Now, I've contacted both the city of Dallas and a Geiger's attorney. Now, neither of them have yet to respond about this lawsuit. Demond Fernandez, Channel 8 News. All right, Demond.